What's up, y'all? This Ang Glizzy, and this Bob Sun TV, and this the David Ruffin Story Part Two. I'm gonna get y'all continues to where I left off. Boom. Get straight into it. David Ruffin moved to California after the situation of me jumping in the car. So he moved to California. Him and his girlfriend, they got him a spot, and they was trying to figure it out. I guess they was gonna be in a relationship. They was starting a podcast with podcasts on Couch Town with Pat and Toya. I guess. Davey and his girlfriend had a podcast. They sit down, play bingo, talk to people, talk about shit. Weak ass podcast, ain't even mean nothing. But his girlfriend really was just dating him to get views and likes because she thought his followers was real. She was trying to get a buzz. But the more she was around Davey, was the more people were saying her name. But whole time she bigger than Davey, whole time. Davey just don't know it. But long story short, so she milked him for whatever she can get out of him. She realized they going half on rent. He keep getting into it with Aunt Dizzy. Aunt Dizzy exposed him like, Davey, you don't got no money, you ain't got no car, my bitch got this, your bitch ain't got that. So he keep getting into it with Aunt Glizzy, proving Aunt Glizzy right. And then I keep on saying shit about Toya. Like Toya, ho, she did this. I got a video that I showed live that Toya was in the car because my man Davey had a show, uh, like a comedian show. And my man seen Toya at the show. Toya met him outside in the car. He hit her in the car and she went back in the show and then went home with Davey. Like ain't nothing happened, but it wasn't like he randomly met her. He been was talking to Toya previous before Davey. It's just like, you seen one of your old Johnson hit her real quick cause she with her nigga. So I let that out. So her and Davey and having a relationship, they arguing back and forth. Guess what, they already are. They already, I know that. No, I'm not. I'm still gonna talk my shit, make me. You're mad. You are mad. You are mad. You're mad. Not me. Not me. You're mad. Not me. I can fall. They end up breaking up. So now, every day before the breakup, Davey on live. Like, everything go live. He show everything. I'm going to show y'all this. The police knocked on the door like, you don't live in here with, this. how I don't know he ain't lit it. You don't live in here, can we talk to the owner of the apartment, something, something? He like, man, I've been staying here for a couple, for a while, we're a couple, I've been here with my girlfriend. Just a rock of shit, they asked him, can he keep it down? She ended up leaving him. They be beefing early motherfucking day, he on live. Early say he gotta get on live. Everything I've noticed about Davey, he gotta get on live and tell his side of the story so he can get some type of clarity like he need the comments to be like yeah Davey you right or this that and the third because he'd be like bitch you ain't paid your side of the rent you ain't did this you ain't did that I'm like Davey you just was fucking that girl raw you love her you wanted to have kids with her y'all was in the future you just gave her a bubble gum machine ring you know how many motherfucking bitches I gave bubble gum machine you know how many bitches I gave bubble gum machine rings and you sitting around here Talking about you ain't love her. I'd have never spent a quarter on a bitch I ain't love. You tripping like shit. A quarter is more than a dollar to me because I took my time out in real life try to please you with this quarter. Like, it really means a lot. That k like I can fool ass ring. That joint was stupid as shit. That joint ain't, that joint wasn't even courage. That joint was like celery. Like, how much celery was on that ring? It wasn't no courage in that motherfucker. I don't know a bunny rabbit that wasn't that motherfucker. But this is a whole nother story. Yeah, so they fake, about to get married, about to get engaged. Man, she left his ass. Now she with the new nigga. She done been with a dyke, three other niggas, and a fat bitch. She done dated her by herself with Davey. So now Davey going back and forth and all that. With her on the internet, they just going back and forth. I'm going to show y'all everything. They going back and forth. Now they in a big-ass relationship crisis. In the midst of all that going on, now Davey vulnerable. Davey trying to get back in his kids. Like, now he boy, he don't got nothing to do. He got evicted from California. They sent him back to D.C. He don't got nowhere to live. He trying to figure it out. Him and Tori ain't got the spot. He's single. He's just out here, so he trying to go link up with his kids. This nigga called one of his men to drive him all the way to North Carolina to just randomly pop up at his baby mother's house with no, with no gifts, no nothing. Just pop up somebody want to see his kids. She maced his ass. That shit crazy, my dog. Could I came to see my son, I done got maced. Like, maced him. Like, he should have got maced. You don't even have a car to put these kids in and take them out to eat. You don't even have no money to bring them a jacket, nothing. You just gonna randomly knock on the door like on some stranger thing and shit. You just knock on the door like, hey, daddy's home. She maced the shit out of him. But this is the kicker to it all. Davey mace. Davey is real live outside. Told his man that gave him the ride. Like, huh, here go my phone. 
Hit me on Instagram, get this. I want Instagram to see this. Everything on Instagram, his whole life is on Instagram. This shit's documented. It's like this nigga lived through this phone. He doing a motherfucking whole Pat Collins news channel report drone with Mason's eyes. Can't even feel his eyeballs. He don't even know who he gave his phone to to record this shit. He like, yeah, I can't see my kids. That bitch maced me. He talking to the police and all that. Man, I drove all the way from D.C. This nigga got Mason's eyes, eyeballs burning. Nigga got a motherfucking fireball on the back of his neck from the mace. The mace got the back of his head on fire. And this nigga sitting around here talking about what she did. What she she should have made you a stupid ass. A stranger. You a stranger right here. You know your kids don't know you. Stranger pop up at her house while she in there taking that new nigga. Uh, uh, uh. And you gonna sit right here and knock on the door like everything good. She sent your ass back to where you supposed to be. Dead Beatville. Now come be a daddy now because you single and you ain't got nothing else to do with your time. You trying to go in there and get back with your baby mother and think she gonna give you a room. That ain't work. She gave your ass a hospital room baby. That makes out your motherfucking eyes. But back to what I was saying. So now he's trying to rekindle the relationship with her, her. That ain't work. So you know Aunt Glizzy, I'm making her in the bed. I'm just making her in the bed like shit. I don't give a fuck about it. He could be the bed. So now Davey just run around. He confused. No, Davey ain't doing no shows. Davey had 183,000 followers for five years. It never moved through the pandemic, outside the pandemic. Look at it right now. Now that I'm talking to y'all, just look at it. Davey got 183,000 followers. This video is recorded prior to now. This is not a live video. You know, go look at his followers right now. It's 183. You're like, damn, for real? And just keep your eyes on it. It never moved. Them eggs will never crack. But... Back to what I was saying, now he don't got Toya. Toya around here doing what she doing. Around here leaking all Davy's secrets. Davy vulnerable. Told you Davy ain't got nowhere to go. Davy ain't got no friends. Davy ain't got no house. Davy ain't got nothing. Davy comes back to D.C. Now he don't got nowhere to live. After he couldn't see his kids, now he's just looking for friends. He's trying to go link up with them old guys from Bed TV. It was some guy from Bed TV that he ran. We had got into it. He had ran and started hanging with them and just used them as like props, friends and shit and thought them was really his friends. But like they real street guys, they real gangsters, they really active. But Davey just came around with the cameras and like, man, shit, he bringing the buzz. We act like, yeah, man, fuck English, you just done a third. But not knowing Davey as was the lick. They knew Davey was going to California. He get the bags. He come back. He do everything like. He just birdie as shit. Like, he just gonna come around with all his bags. They put his ass and move together. Let Davey just get the bags, get comfortable. He can just keep coming. We gonna get his ass when he got everything. So, Davey back in D.C. now. He don't got nothing. I told you he broke up with this girl, lost his apartment in Cali. Can't see his kids. He have no other plate. He just got this plug in Cali, that front of bags that he do promo for. That's his only thing he had left. So, the, he must have fronted, say, 10 bags from the plug in motherfucking California. Came back with the bags. When he got back with the bags, somebody randomly, I don't know who, I don't even know what neighborhood it was, took his ass down, took him down like he was dick riding, trying to go link up with some guys, hanging out like, yeah, I got bags, I'm a drug dealer. He posted this every day for a week on his Insta story. I got bags for 500. Tap in with me. Blow us bags in the city. Tap in with me. I'm doing drop-offs at 8 in the morning. Early bird, get the worm first. I say, man, this nigga selling Instagram weed. This nigga got a menu. They gonna rob Davey ass. He said he pulling up on Davey, pulling up on niggas with Pam. It's gonna go bad. So I'm just thinking like, damn, they gonna brace Davey. Before I can think, damn, they gonna brace Davey. It's like, damn, they brace Davey. I just hear my line ring. Hey, Mo, you know you was getting to with Davey Ruffin. Man, I got his chain. You want that, John? I pulled straight up to the same spot Davey got his ass robbed in with no security guard, no gun, no nothing. The same spot he got his ass robbed in. I pulled her right there, got the chain. Took my ass back home. No, now I got the chain. Here go a video right here. David Ruffin said, nigga, never do that to me because I'm just saying, if it was me, laugh now, cry later. Got his ass.